where else? Walmart pickup, of course. I created some new jewelry designs last night. Sometimes I have an idea, but I don't have the materials and I have to order the materials to make the piece. And sometimes I have everything I need and I just, I don't know what I'm gonna make and then just ideas come to me. And I made a stack last night. My favorite necklace that I've ever made is part of this stack. And I think the you guys, I think you're gonna love it. If you like these, I think you're going to absolutely love it. These are very casual. I wear these like with everything. I dress it up too, but like this hardware is very edgy. It's definitely a more casual piece. The one I made last night is it's more upscale little sister. So I just got this beautiful bouquet of flowers from BK Beauty and I just can't get over, like I love wildflowers and like this is like one of my favorites, these as well. So I started going down a YouTube rabbit hole on how to dry these out, how to preserve them. So I just wanted to show you what I'm doing right now. So I am arranging these to press them. I am going to press them and stick them in my garage between two pieces of plywood. I guess you're supposed to do it for a month. So I took some of the flowers apart that apparently don't preserve well on their own. So this is an experiment, but wouldn't this make beautiful like photos? I feel like I wanna press these in like picture frames afterwards if it works out. So uh, TBD, but the bouquet is from um, a place called farm girl I might just dry some of these out just as like dry flowers and then also press so let's see how that goes all right I took some more out of the bouquet and I just hung them up here because it's supposed to be a cool dry place and this is like my laundry room so I am just drying these out and we'll see how they look and I don't know. I don't know where I'm gonna put them. Hopefully they dry pretty. I just wanted to show you this is what I did with the remaining flowers. Like I can't believe I did all of that, the pressing and the drying, and I still have all of this left over. It makes me sad to think that this is gonna die. I did pull out two more stems to just dry out here just to see what happens without pressing them, but this is stunning. This is beautiful. Thank you, BK Beauty. Like, gorgeous. Literally gorgeous. I'm on my way to a date. I got my hair up because I flat ironed the back of it and I'm letting it set. Um, this is my makeup. Just want to show you the eye look. I did the Tarte After Dark palette, which, you guys, the palette is stunning. I can't figure out if it's limited edition or not, but it's the best shit Tarte's ever done. I am finally going to the hair salon today. I just filmed a little bit of, for TikTok, just like a before, looking at my hair beforehand. This is it, I mean, can you even? It is so ratty and ugly and it just looks so split and frizzy and it is to my belly button. It needs to be colored. <sighs> It's just a train wreck. So anyway, I am on my way out to the salon right now. So let me throw my shoes on and I'll talk to you in the car. Okay, here's some not funny news. I just like went to put the salon information into my phone. Cause it's the same salon I went to last year. If you have been following my vlogs, right before I went to Mexico last year, I went to the salon. So I haven't been there in a year, but it was like a super cute salon. The girl, I mean, I didn't think she would stay in business a long time the way that she did business. She was just not efficient and not, um, she just wasn't a good businesswoman, but she did hair, like she slayed hair. Living in the middle of nowhere, it's hard to find somebody that's that good, you know what I mean? Anyway. I just typed it into the um, the maps on my phone, like the GPS, and it says it's permanently closed. But I made the appointment online, and it even sent me a text message confirmation of my appointment. So I'm gonna go there anyway. But like, if it's permanently closed, I'm gonna sh I'm gonna die. Okay, I just pulled up, and it the lights are on, so I think we're a go. I 
I took six inches off and I feel like I've lost five pounds. <laughs> yeah, this is what happened last year. My hair was like super long and I took a ton off and it's still long as fuck. So like, I just feel like it's normal long now. I wish she went a little shorter with these pieces around my face. I could have like, I usually like those to be like way up here, but I won't cry about it. It's fine. I'm just glad that I feel lighter and it looks healthy now and she thinned it out. So it's just light. She just lightened the load, man. We like it. So I just finished filming and my hair is still looking good. This blowout will last me like a week. I will not be washing my hair. <laughs> Yesterday, right after I left the salon, it rained. So I put my hair up so that it wouldn't get wet, but like I have like a top layer of flyaways because it did get wet, but whatever. See them? It's like frizz. Might go over it with a flat iron. I don't know. Anyway, I just finished filming. I got these palettes from Tarte, their holiday collection of eyeshadows, Gilded Glamour or whatever. I really, really like what Tarte's doing right now. Like between that and the Maneater After Dark palette, which that's a must get. These are limited edition. This is the Gilded palette. That's the one I'm wearing right now. And then the Glamour palette. It's more of like the sultry, smoky tones. This one. If you're even debating this, like do not debate. Like, f first of all, look at it. And the shimmers are so foiled. And look at the packaging. It's so pretty. I like that the top is not this because it gets so fingerprinty and I can't stand that. Anyway, it's Friday night and uh, you know, I have nothing to do, nowhere to go. I took like a complete week off from like the dating apps this week. I just, I went out on a that date last week and it was just like a hard pass. Did I tell you guys what happened with that? The dude smokes. And like no shade to people who smoke. I smoked when I was younger. It is one of my biggest regrets in life i'm so health conscious and even if i could even if i could tolerate kissing your cigarette tasting mouth let's just say i could tolerate that i'm way too health conscious to date somebody who puts toxins like that in their body like i want to be with somebody who's going to live a long time not somebody who's going to die in 10 years of cancer you know what i mean and like he didn't disclose like smoking is just one of those things like you have to disclose it and you have to disclose it immediately because it's like a deal breaker for a lot of people. Not just that, but there were like other things too. Like he just was shady about a couple things. There were like maybe three or four different red flags that I was like, yeah, no, I don't have, I'm so cutthroat. I don't care. It's fine. So I took the week off. I'm actually going to Orlando next week to meet up with a fellow content creator on, um, he's on TikTok. I don't know what other apps he's on. I know he's on Instagram. He owns a makeup brand called CXC Beauty. His name's Christian. Um, I'll link him in the description box, but um, we've like followed each other on TikTok, but I found out he was in Florida. He lived in Florida by Orlando. And because I'm doing the whole like self-care mini road trip situation, I was like, perfect. I'm doing those like every other month or whatever. So I haven't been out to Orlando in many, many years. And there's a lot of things around Orlando. Like I'm not really a Disney, like I like Disney. I like, I like Disney. I just don't like large crowds of people. It's just not really my thing, but there's a lot of things around the Orlando area that are really cool. And I was just like, that's a great excuse for me to make it like a mini road trip. So I'm going to, I'm going to drive out there on Friday, get together with him on Saturday and then come home on Sunday and just make it a whole thing. So I'm looking forward to that.
Well, good morning. I am here. I am on my balcony. I am having some coffee. And I just figured I would vlog a little bit. Um, I'm in Orlando. You know this. Oh my god, coffee is life. Look at how frizzy my hair is from getting rained on yesterday. I totally got rained on. But I met Christian and his partner yesterday, and they are lovely. He gifted me some uh, makeup from his makeup brand. I am so excited to play with it. I will show it to you guys when I pack. Just dolls. I wish I wasn't so far away from them because they're another, I don't know, at least 40 minutes away from here. So they're probably like close to four hours away from me. And that sucks they're so sweet like if we lived close we'd probably hang out you know like one more time for this view off my balcony isn't it so pretty these are the three palettes that christian gave me these are eyeshadows this is a highlight palette i'm like really excited to dig into these like look how gorgeous and they make these like him and his partner actually make these on site these are formulated by them pressed by them I love that because you know it's going to be good quality their own formulas and not something bought from overseas I cannot wait to get home and try these and swatch them this one is a neutral palette and this one is a color palette so yay when I was at Sephora I also picked up this rare beauty lipstick in the shade worthy you guys know this is like my jam right here um this is my first thing ever trying from rare beauty so i'm super interested to see if i'm gonna like it get some Botox. That's what I'm doing today. That's why I look so fab. I have literally bare skin, nothing on it because you really shouldn't have anything on your skin just because they're puncturing holes in your face and you don't want bacteria and stuff getting in there. But anyways, I'm doing that. Um, and then I will show you guys kind of where I'm at fall wise. I didn't get a ton of stuff at Target, but I did get a few things. Didn't find the florals that I actually wanted, um, and I didn't get to stop at Hobby Lobby because they don't open on Sundays, and that was the day that I was heading back from um, Orlando. So I had florals from last year, and I just put those in for now until I can make it over to Hobby Lobby, which I don't know when that's gonna be yet because I have a ton of work to do and um, I have a date tomorrow. video trying the new lipstick from Rare Beauty that I got when I was in Orlando and I just wanted to show it to you guys like look at this packaging it is very cute and the shade is what I'm wearing right now and I swatched it next to safe word which is this one here it's very close it's very close not an exact dupe but I feel like it looks very similar on my lips as safe word did and if you know you know if you've been here a while you know about safe word this was an urban decay lipstick that i loved more than anything in life and then they discontinued it and it was the only lipstick i ever wore it's gone but i've been on a mission to try to find a dupe for like a long time and i've never really been able to dupe it this is very close though very close we are happy about this. I am pretty impressed with the formula also. Like it's matte, but it's very comfortable, which is what the Urban Decays were. They were a comfort matte. And that's what this is. So, I, so far, I mean, I've had it on for a couple hours and I really like it. 
So there's a hurricane coming to Florida and it quite possibly is coming right for me. And my house is made of wood. So if it does hit, there's a good chance my house will not still be standing. So I'm evacuating tomorrow, but I do have content pre-filmed for you. So if you could engage with it, that'd be awesome. But I am hitting the road in the morning, but I'll keep you guys posted. I'll let you know that I'm alive. I mostly decided to go because of these guys because I just didn't want it to be super stressful on them and if the shit hits the fan, like, it's just better to go before that happens and I'll be going with my mom, so I will not be alone. This was a rare moment caught on camera. Hurricane storm surge as Ian slammed ashore. Time-lapse video shows how it buried a major boulevard in Fort Myers, Florida submerged under as much as six feet of water. The city was overwhelmed. Cell phone video shows what looks like entire neighborhoods underwater. Jacob! Just south of Fort Myers, Good Samaritans braved the strong currents for a dangerous rescue. There was an elderly man stuck in his car as the floodwaters were rising. They had to pry the door open and carry him to safety. Hurricane Ian hit Florida as a category four hurricane. The winds were clocked at 150 miles per hour. The flooding across southwestern Florida is catastrophic. Water surged as high as 10 feet. There could be billions of dollars in property damage. Overwhelmed with 911 calls, people trapped in their homes. Video caught an emergency response trailer swept off its foundation at Fort Myers Beach. It's unclear if anyone was inside. South of Fort Myers in Naples, here's a view from a high rise showing just how widespread the flooding is. Are you guys okay? Firefighters waded through chest deep water to rescue this woman, only to face problems of their own. Now we have a truck issue and the guys are pushing the truck out of the bay. They scrambled to salvage what they could from their fire trucks as water poured into the station. Overnight, more than two and a half million Floridians lost power. I can't stop the boat. It's okay, buddy. We're going to get you. Wait till we hit the bushes and then 